I got inspired to start making this kind of jewelry through, goodness, just being an ocean girl and wanting to create um, jewelry that I could wear all the time. And since I paddle almost every day, I'm in the ocean almost every day, I wanted to make things that you didn't have to worry about being in the ocean in. So I found these wonderful nylon cords and they come in a gazillion colors and you don't have to worry about them. So then all these other natural elements came in and I sort of got obsessed. This allows me to, to do something new every time. And honestly, I don't always plan them. Sometimes I'll have a, a rough idea and I'll sketch them and then I'll actually put the materials together and they start creating themselves. Living in Hawaii has definitely influenced the materials and the colors, but I think I would have picked this up and done something like this wherever I was. Because I always take things with me, I'll always have a little box of materials. Sometimes I'll just go into my studio and, you know, I'll grab this because I like the way these colors work. So I'll just kind of throw it all into Ziploc and, and go to the beach. So in that case, I'm just listening to the ocean. The most important quality an artist here, or an artist anywhere, I think needs to have is, is to be true to their own voice. Um, I've had some artists that, you know, come into my business and say, you know, what's selling? And I just, I always refuse to answer that question because I think the art, the really powerful art comes from their heart and their own inspiration and not from trying to market something more commercial. So being true to your own voice and, and having posture of believing in yourself.